Good morning LEGO Builders. Today I'm giving you an update on my progress on my LEGO City layout. This is the seventh time I have changed the city <coughs> uh, to accommodate both the city and the trains. Most of it with the emphasis on trains. I'm going to start with the white train first. This one will go through here. Past the camping area, as you can tell, I relocated. Pass through here and over the lake. Um, it, I will eventually build a bridge going through here, going over the water. And I'm gonna go past here, to past the lighthouse. I'm thinking about putting that on land as opposed to over water, since it doesn't make sense to have a lighthouse in that area over water. And the train's gonna come through here and back around the buildings right here i do have these the tracks secured to with these here i will eventually change that out with the the gray the gray tiles comes around that way around and back around that way And then with the orange or yellow train line, that one's gonna come through here, back around, over there, through the city. Come back around, over through here, again over the water, which again will have a bridge, we'll build a bridge eventually, through here and then back around through here. Since that is the main city line, I am looking for a place to put a train station or train stop. I was thinking about maybe putting it here where the, the boat is, would make sense, and then move the pier right, right somewhere over here maybe, or down here. I'm not too sure as this is just a rough draft and I'm seeing a good spot for everything else. And for the Disney train, still remains the same. It's gonna go through here. You notice there's no more clutter. Going around there through the Ferris wheel and all the way around the Disney castle. And within the Disneyland, we have, of course, the UFO ride, a bunch of uh, displays, Lego displays, and a correction. Um, that is actually a Minecraft chicken and not from Roblox. My little son corrected me on that. <laughs> and we have the, the Lego bonsai tree. I want to make that actually the tree of life in the Disney theme, which my wife thought of doing, which I thought was a good idea. And then we got the Ferris wheel. I eventually want to get that motorized along with this one here. Quite not sure how to do that, but I'm sure I can find that information on YouTube. And then of course we have the Disney castle and we have the water around it kind of halfway around it for the tiling i need to redo that again it needs to be here centered right there along that base plates the two base plates i'll do that later and then of course over here we still have a disaster and we have the camping area this whole place right here will be dedicated to the camping area uh, eventually that'll get done too and then we have the beach area right there and then of course our pier our docking area for the boat again that's not permanent nothing's permanent right now I'm just trying to figure out where everything's wanna, gonna go. And over here, it looks like it, this place was just flooded. Lego City as everything is just piled right there. 
along with the street lights and everything. Of course, we had the Jurassic helicopter. I'm using it as a heli police helicopter and just put it up there as the landing port for that on top of the police station. And I haven't really tried this yet, but I will run these trains and make sure everything is good to go. That was my main concern was getting the train tracks set up first. And we'll get the Disney train going. So that's going to go around. Just like that. Then we're going to do the orange passenger train. And that's going to go counterclockwise to the Disney train. And we'll just follow that around. And then we're going to do the other passenger train. And this one's going to go clockwise. There we go, that one's gonna go clockwise. And around the buildings. I did think about running the city main line around behind the buildings and then making the tracks longer. But then I would run out of space behind the tracks just to move it forward. So I don't think that would have fit around this building here. So that would, a curve around that side would take up that much space. And that would not fit around the boutique hotel. Uh, this is what the train setup looks like from this angle. Looks like everything is running smoothly. And from this angle, it looks pretty good. The most important, I like it, and the most important thing is that. My son actually likes it now. He's more involved with it. He didn't like that. Uh, there was more cities in the more city buildings than trains because he really likes to play with trains. So I did meet that criteria of being able to run more trains. I was actually told that he was playing with the trains last night, so. I was happy with that. So there's more trains running. Well, I will get back with you all and I hope you like this update. And when this place is all cleaned up and ready to go, I will see you guys next time. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all soon. But before I go, I would like to leave you with a view of my train sets running.